issue Tunumbu and Lagos APC be worried after PDP invites Lagos for Lagos movement to join the party? Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. It appears the People's Democratic Party PDP is seriously thinking about ending the dominance of the APC in Lagos going by the proposed move made by the party to the Lagos for Lagos movement to join the PDP. This recent move is coming after a chieftain of a party and former deputy governor of, in Lagos, Kofawarola Bokno, Akerele, said the PDP replicates the Otoge movement in Lagos in 2023. According to the Gazelnews.com, a delegation led by a member of the PDP Board of Trustees, BOT member, Chief Raymond Dokpesi, met with the leader of the Lagos for Lagos movement, Dr. Adul Aziz Olajide Adediron, a.k.a. Jando, at their headquarters to invite them to join the PDP ahead of a 2023 governorship election. The Lagos for Lagos movement is a faction of the ruling APC who is a loggerhead with a faction lawyer to APC national leader Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You will recall that since Tinubu left office as governor of Lagos in 2007, he has become an established figure in the state who has been credited with having a hand in the emergence of successive governors who have governed the state. However, some aggrieved members in Lagos APC who are not happy with his leadership style have begun to register their displeasure by forming various functional groups. Apart from the Lagos for Lagos movement faction, there is another APC faction in the state lower to a former governor of the state, Akin Wumi Ambodi, all of these factions held parallel congresses and elected their state executive in the recently held APC State Congress. Meanwhile, Jan Doe, the leader of the Lagos for Lagos movement, said he will inform all of their 245 wards in the state after taking a critical look at the invite to join the PDP revert back accordingly. If the Lagos for Lagos movement accept the invitation to join the PDP, will it end in a boost and APC dominance in Lagos? Well, time will tell. After failing to win Lagos since Nigeria returned back to democratic government in 1999, I think the PDP is trying to come up with a formidable strategy that will finally break the deadlock in 2023. It will be foolhardy for the APC to underwrite these moves taken by PDP and not prepare accordingly. Okay. Okay, the thing and the truth remains this. Just it is summarized in one quote. Nothing lasts forever. Nobody remains a champion forever. Nothing lasts forever. No matter the position you are or how you have managed to sustain it, one day others will emerge. And it should not be seen as you have lost. Rather, it should be seen as giving others the opportunity of doing what you have been doing. At least people should have a different feel. Just like one particular person has been the cook over the years. You know, you know you, people want to taste, you know, somebody else cooking and see how it can be. So, <laughs> I don't really see anything. Of course, it is expected. He, 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 his reign will, 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 even if it is not now, will definitely, definitely not last forever. That is just what I'm going to say. Let Ambode join them. They will still fail woefully. Before you can destroy Tenombo, you will need to be destroying like 3,000 politicians in Nigeria. Lagos is a center of excellence where a majority of people are invested there via a political system. That is why you will see some non-indigent that are occupying some reasonable offices there. They are representing somebody there. And that is why Tenombo was having his ways there. And it will remain like that until when he dies. Wow. This one is really, really ichuk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nigerians are saying that it is going to be difficult. Look, whether it is going to be now or never, the truth is nothing lasts forever. That is it. No matter how familiar you have, uh -uh, you can never, like, you are not good. You, it cannot last forever. No matter how long you stay in a position. Okay, Tsunobu is not a god. What is this rubbish you are saying? God makes kings, not human beings. 
ok? <laughs> ok? Ok? Has Tenembo done any wrong? Even all those shouting, they are not happy with the leadership of Tenembo, we do worse. Will they get to power? Of course, yes, of course. If you look at um, Nigeria now, I will tell you, apart from the, the ethnicism, tribalism, and favoritism, and nepotism displayed by our leaders, you can even find such things within electorate. And I tell you, these people, they did not just fall from heaven and become leaders. Neither were they made leaders from their mother's womb. They were also once upon a time electorate, and it says a lot. It means if at your level now, even if what you do now is maybe you want to work and you go to work and you come back, how you live your life, if you go there, if you are not living your life uprightly, if you are still doing he's my person, she's my person uh, against he or she merits it, and if you are still doing he's from my tribe, he's, she's from my tribe against merit, you will do, you will do as you behave even more than them. Your, your behavior is going to be worse. And if you are still doing, oh, he's a member of my church, you know, all those things, you will, it will lead Nigeria to more problems. Which means that charity begins at, it begins at your level. You feel you have nothing. That's in your nothingness level. That level where you think you have nothing. How are you behaving? Are you tribalistic? Are you sincere in your work? Are you very diligent in your work? You have to tick all those boxes before if finally you become a leader or hold any position in any government parastatal, you will also have to use those things. So that means that, 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 that makes them say charity begins at home. That is true. Okay, are you telling us that Saraki did not appoint up to 10 men that are loyal to him in Quara? There is always time for everything. No, cook, no king rules forever. Exactly. Exactly what I've been trying to say. When it is time for Tenebo to leave the scene, he will not have any choice. Even those you think are loyal to him will betray him before your eyes. Nobody can rule forever. Sincerely, nobody. The political weight of Lagos for Lagos cannot outweigh the political strategy which APC has formed in Lagos. No matter their outlook, they cannot withstand Tenebo political maneuver in Lagos. APC is a formidable party in Lagos State. Well, your opinion, I'm still of the opinion that um, no matter how long it takes, no matter how long, no matter how long it seems like um, a particular state is for a particular party, time will tell because it's nothing lasts forever. That is just it. Nothing lasts forever. They are too small for Baba. <laughs>